let's get ready for our social studies lesson. We're going to take out our Thanksgiving booklet. So we've learned um, a, a little about um, the Wampanoag and the Pilgrims. So um, today we are on page five. And actually, if you look on page four, do you, so we, we got to learn a little bit about how the children, pilgrim children live. They had many chores. And we just saw in today's video that the um, Wampanoag children, the Native American children, they had many chores as well. And also the clothes that they wore was different. It was made out of animal skins, right? Um, especially at the end of the video, it showed um, what the girls were wearing. Um, so they, they um, lived off the land what the land could provide. Um, it showed that they um, they had to go and pick berries. They had to um, um, go, they had to um, also crush corn. Did you notice they used the same way to crush the corn so that they could make a cornmeal out of it? And then they cooked over an open fire. So when we were learning about how the we too was made, um, which those the girls in the video also lived in a wee tu when they went back in time 400 years ago. Um, you could see how they lived inside the wee tu. They had animal skins on their beds that they slept under. Um, they actually, it looked like, like what they said is that the, the wee tu was where they slept and where they stored things, but mostly they lived outside. And you could see that how their kitchen was outside, their fire where they cooked was outside. And then also the um, that we too that the girls um, were, were living in, it showed how there were just a few holes in the top to, to let the, like the smoke from the fire inside out. Um, so um, it is very different when they lived then and it showed a little bit of between now and then what it was like, like the girls when they live now, they're just like, you know, you, they just, they, they like to play, they like to ride their bikes, um, they just go to a normal school. But when they reenact what it's like living in the past, they change their clothes and, and everything. You know, they, they um, go ahead and wear the animal skin. They live differently. They have to collect water from the, the, the spring. Um, they row in, in um, I forget the name that they called the boat. I'll have to look at that again. There is a Wampanoag name for the boat, but the boat was cut out of, um, it was hollowed out uh, tree trunks that they used for that. Um, let me see. They didn't go to school. Um, they did not go to school. It showed their sister cooking, um, and um, it was very different. No electricity. Again, that's like a, a big thing um, because... We have electricity today to help us with everything, but there was no electricity um, back then. It wasn't invented till much later, so we have that. Um, no way to bring, like, if you have a gas stove that makes you, you have a flame or a gas fireplace that you have flame that comes inside your house, that didn't happen back then. They cooked outside, and if they wanted some light inside, then they'd have to bring like a candle or something like that inside, okay? So a lot, a lot, life was a lot different 400 years ago than it is now, okay? So um, I'm gonna keep coloring here. And it's kind of interesting learning about how different life was before, but they still managed to, to um, do some games and have some fun, right? You notice that? So I think that was, um, Interesting that game that they played and that game that they were playing looks like you had a lot of had to have a lot of skill But it looked like a lot of fun um, The way they could sling that um, that double ball game that they played And also making beads and stuff making jewelry that looked like fun, too Okay, so that's it for me if you need more time keep coloring and remember to give yourself an exit ticket when you're done and then this is going to go back into your social studies folder. We're not done with that book yet. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining me for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls.